Category Fruit. Most people think it's a vegetable, but it's actually a berry. It has been called by different names. For example, Pomodoro, which is golden apple. Pom d'amour, which is the love apple. Pom empoisonné. Pom empoisonné. 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 It means the poisonous apple. Wait, what are we talking about? Yes, you guessed it. Tomatoes! Hey everyone, I'm Gabby Winkler and you are watching Etymology, a new series where we discuss the quirky history of the most mundane culinary ingredients. And today we are talking about tomatoes. There are tons of different types of tomatoes out there and they come in all shapes, sizes and colors. But did you know that for centuries people thought they were deadly poisonous plants? It was believed that if someone ate a tomato, its poison would turn their blood into acid. The tomato plant itself originally comes from South and Central America where it grows wild. The early Aztecs were the first to cultivate them. The tomato plant belongs to the nightshade family. There are other plants in this plant family that we normally consume. For example, there's eggplant, potatoes, and chili peppers, all the good stuff. The word tomato comes from the Nahuatl word tomatl. And it started to spread across Europe when the Spanish in the 16th century brought back the plant alongside with many other new ingredients. You know, they just went there and they just brought back stuff because they thought they could. Hmm. That looks good. Let's bring them back to Europe. Once the fruit was on the other side of the Atlantic, the word was nativized and started to be used by speakers of European languages. Actually, here comes the eternal question. Tomato or tomato? The great pronunciation debate. In the blue corner, the Americans saying tomato and in the red, the British with their tomato. Who is right and who is wrong? The fruit's name was originally pronounced tomato in English, as it was borrowed from Spanish. But there was already a very similar word in English, potato, which strongly influenced the way how tomato was pronounced. People adopted the A pronunciation of tomato to match how the word potato was pronounced, so tomato became tomato in North America. You like potato, and I like potato. You like tomato, and I like tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Oh, let's call the whole thing off. Of course, after the emancipation of the American colonies, most British described this new accent as vulgar and uneducated. So this early difference became something of a statement of Americanness in the face of British poshness. In the 17th century, Europeans believed that these fruits were poisonous, so they called them the poisonous apples. And they only planted them for their pretty red berries. It was a sort of decoration. It gained its bad reputation because aristocrats got sick or died after eating them. Game over. Only aristocrats. The real reason wasn't the poisonous nature of the fruit, rather than the wealthy used pewter plates, which contained high quantities of lead. The acid in tomatoes caused the lead to leach, which led to poisoning. Everyday folks used wooden plates, so they could eat tomatoes without getting sick. And they loved it! One of the earliest non-European references to the food was made by the Italian herbalist Pietro Andrea Mattioli, who first classified the golden apple as a nightshade and a mandrake. Mandrakes and nightshades had the reputation of being both poisonous and a source of temptation. And their roots were babies. You pull it sharply up out of the pot! <laughs> well, if you look at this fellow, so the mandrake root, which is supposedly human-shaped, was believed to have magical properties and when pulled out from the ground, it screamed. And hearing that scream was believed to be fatal. Not true. 
of course, but don't try it, just in case. It is true that the leaves and the stem contain a toxic alkaloid, which could cause liver or heart damage when ingested in extremely large doses. But the fruit itself is completely safe to consume. People slowly started appreciating tomatoes as they realized they weren't poisonous. But not in a nation of tomato ketchup lovers, the United States. While in Europe, the invention of pizza in Naples made tomatoes extremely popular, back in the 19th century, the plant still had a very bad reputation among Americans. So one day, a guy named Colonel Robert Gibbon Johnson, who was a big fan of tomatoes, was desperate to convince people that the fruit wasn't from the devil. Colonel Johnson announced that he would eat a tomato on the steps of the county courthouse at noon. That morning, in 1820, about 2,000 people were jammed into the town square to watch him die. He picked up a tomato from a basket and held it up so that it glistened in the sun. To help dispel the tall tales and the fantastic fables that you have been hearing, and to prove to you that it is not poisonous, I'm going to eat one right now. A woman in the crowd screamed and fainted, but nobody cared. They were all watching Colonel Johnson as he took one bite after another. When he finished, he raised his arms and the crowd cheered. The fireman's band blared a song. He's done it, they shouted. He is still alive. Since then, tomatoes regained their reputation and now people eat them almost every day, all around the world. Although some of the plant's nightshady past seems to have followed the tomato in current pop culture. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Attack in the 1978 the film, tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, giant red fruits terrorize and devour people. Later, they created a video game with the same title and the same concept. There's also a crazy festival in Spain called La Tomatina, which is the world's largest food fight. Tens of thousands of participants throw nearly 45 tons of tomato at each other for precisely one hour every August leaving the entire town looking like a huge tomato sauce with human meatballs. Mmm, yummy! This festival inspired a Bollywood film and a song called Petty Thread. Hope you enjoyed this episode about tomatoes. Do you also feel that tomatoes are evil? Let me know in the comments. And for more food history, hit the bell. And if you'd like to see more funky food facts, follow us on YouTube. See you next time.